Hello fans! Welcome to the box of gaming! Really, really video game is stopping things! All this wind is hurting my eyes! Yarr! Ah, and my throat. Ah, that's a cool voice, right guys? Right? That was cool? Okay. Hey, what's up guys? Bebop Box here. We just got back from Gamescom! Oh god, I really want that fan right now. Don't mind me if I look sweaty. It's a cool new thing. All the hipsters are doing it. But it's time to get through all your gaming news that we checked out. I have interviews coming out this week as well, and some Kickstarters and indie stuff going on. So let's get right to it with your gaming news. First up, the video game streaming service on live has had some rocky ground where they had to lay off half their employees. This is because the company was sold to an unknown person. On Live started in 2010, and basically the service was so you can play video games off their computers, a cloud. Well, it had a lot of ground to start off on, and we saw them at E3 every year, Gamescom and all that, but it seems like there's a lot of trouble going on within their company. So, here at the Vox of Gaming, best of luck to everybody who was fired, so you can get back on your feet and finding a new job. Next up, Valve, oh, come on. You, right here, every time. Feel it in our hearts. You guys are making a Dota 2, oh you already know this, a Dota 2 documentary. Well sit back and relax because there's already a trailer out that you can watch. These guys are going to be following around a whole bunch of Dota 2 pro players as they go around and follow the circuit. Overall hoping that they win international tournaments. So next one up is over at PAX Prime, which is over in Seattle coming up very soon. Come on, more gaming documentaries, that's what we're talking about. From the Minecraft one that two player production started. Just on and on, we're happy to see more and more of these be developed. Except this one is actually being produced by Valve, so the speed of it may be a little bit quicker. Next up, oh, it looks like we get an awesome sequel, Plants vs. Zombie 2. Oh, oh man, it's so hot in here. Oh, good thing I have this EA towel. Oh, EA Sports. Woo, product placement. Ah, wait a minute, product placement you get money for. Ah. Well, the geniuses over at PopCap just announced Plants vs. Zombie 2. If you remember a few weeks ago, we announced that they were also interested on a first-person shooter idea and also going more social media. But right now, there is no other information besides this just being announced. No pictures, no idea of it will be an RTS or anything else. Nothing. But hey, at least you know it's gonna happen. So if you're a fan of the series, what else would you like to see in this game? Because, you know, it's gonna have mulch more. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Mulch? See what I... Sorry, I'll never do that again. But if you're wondering when the game is going to release, it looks like a late spring for this game, 2013. Late spring, get it? It's a plant game. Ugh. Next up, we may have Metal Gear Rising grace our beautiful PCs. Because it looks like the ruling to have it not on PC may be overturned. Well, when the creative producer of Konami Productions, Yuri Kurikudu, was interviewed by Eurogamer, well, the topic of it not being released on PCs was brought up. Ooh, balls and move, Eurogamer. Well, the creative producer responded with, Would you like this hack and slash game on PCs? And it was quickly responded with, Yes. With that in consideration now, we will look forward in moving in this direction. So with this game coming out in February 2013, there's no way this is going to be on PC at the exact same time as all the other platforms, but nice job. Hope we do get this on PC. Next up, rumor mill time. Washington, move over because it looks like Boston is gunning for you. Apparently, Fallout 4 could be set in Boston. This is a rumor from a Redditor who claims to work with them in Boston, but he's afraid of losing his job. Of course, I mean, not really worth it just tossing over news like this to lose their job. But Bethesda already shot down these rumors. Who knows? They always get shot down, so it still could be true. But hey, you know what I say? Rumor or not, any news of Fallout 4 is good news. At least they're moving in the right direction. You know, it being created. Now it's time for your indie news, where we help out the underdog. Well, this old Xbox title is getting remade for the PC, and it's coming to Steam. It's called Castle Crushers. This news came to us in a beautifully written poem, talking about how they're now running on Steam. But there's no release date for it just yet. This is a really fun, nice looking side scroll co-op game that has a 2d look it's been out for a long time in the Xbox and it grew a lot of ground with that so now it's great to see it coming to the best gaming system of all the PC oh yeah starting those wars anytime I can get a little punch in but next up something I'm very excited about the Kickstarter planetary annihilation this game is a beautiful RTS I tweeted this so fast once I saw it ah absolutely beautiful 
$900,000 in only once. That's, that's not a lot. But it's already at $500,000 and they only just started. They're basically looking up to change the way we know RTS is as because there's not a lot of publishers that do them. So the main goal of this is that you fight on a planet. You have different teams and that and they fight for control of the land. And of course resources. But what happens when you don't have enough resources on one planet? You go to another one and you can do just that. It's all about taking over different planets, even launching meteors at the base. Hook up rockets to it and what? Crazy! It's exactly what the title says, Planetary Annihilation. This could easily become the next big Tim Schafer or Ooh yeah or Oculus Kickstarter that is out there. It is doing such a great job and being so creative. Definitely go watch a Kickstarter video that did a great job on it. So what's your gameplay style? Do you like doing quick skirmishes or would you look to play this for 12 hours with your friends just continuously murdering each other? until somebody finally wins. But it's already got 24 days to go. Go ahead and pledge for it. Highly recommend it. I already threw my money at them. Go ahead and make it. But now it's time for your community question time and to give something away. Congratulations to the planet side heavy dog chain winners. There's three of them. Ah! There you go, congratulations. This week, I wanna have some of you guys play with me in Firefall. Thank you to the Firefall team over at Gamescom who gave me some shirts, but more importantly, gave me a bunch of beta codes that they technically weren't supposed to, but they gave me anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to give a bunch of those away all week, so you guys can look forward to that. So how do you win it? Go ahead and comment below about anything, such as what was the top news that you love that came out of Gamescom? What game are you looking forward to? All kinds of gaming went on this week for Gamescom, and all week I'll be coming out with videos. So comment below, be a subscriber, and BAM! There you go, I will pick you guys at random. I will see you tomorrow though, I am Bebop Vox, and I will see you in game. Time to go back to my Death Star now. Goodbye!